Hey guys, so what we're going to be testing today is some products from Manta. Now, if you'll see these rail covers here, these are also Manta products that we're testing. These are very soft, uh, like rubber silicone filling material. They're very, very comfortable. Um, we really like them so far. But what we're going to be testing right now is a suppressor sleeve that they make out of the same type of material. And if you have a suppressor, if you've ever shot one, you'll know they get really hot, really quick. You can burn up your hands or your gear if you are to touch it. So what we're going to do is we're going to shoot a 30 round mag dump out of the LMT here. And we're going to take the digital thermometer that we have and see what the temperature is. And then we're going to put the sleeve on after it cools down. We'll do another 30 round mag dump and we'll test it again on the sleeve and see how hot it is compared to the actual suppressor without it. So let's go ahead and throw a mag through it. I've got a mag in my pocket here. There it is. So what's the temperature on it? 390. 390 degrees after 30 rounds. So we'll let this cool back down and we'll throw the mana sleeve on it and we'll fire it again. And like you can tell right now, I'm kind of holding the gun off of my body because I could drop it, could hit my leg or anything. And 400 degrees will cause a really good burn. So that'll be one of the good uses for it. You could just sling your rifle once you have that on there and not worry about getting burned. But We'll be right back after this cools down. We'll run the test with it on. All right, guys, so as you can see, we now have the Manta suppressor sleeve on the gun. The suppressor is cooled down. We're going to go ahead and load another mag, and I'll dump it just like we did the other one. And uh, we'll see what the temperature differences are. No ears on this time, so <laughs> it's plenty quiet enough. We don't really need them. That's it. Go ahead and see how hot it is. Three oh six. So 306 on the tip, go ahead and uh, get the center of the sleeve there. Ninety-two. Ninety-two. You sure don't feel ninety-two. Does it? Not at all. Not at all. Go ahead and measure it again. You don't have to be. Ninety-two? Well, that's body. That's a little under body temperature. So. 103, but you've got some sunlight hitting it right that's now. That's probably well. about right. That's 103. A, that's about body temperature. But yeah, you can you can clearly see. I mean, I you just don't feel any heat, man. You can't tell. Don't fear and grab it. I mean, <laughs> none. And and that hit the end of this thing again. That suppressor's over 300 degrees. 354. 354. And this thing's running about 103 and it you can tell it's heating up a little bit i mean but it's feels like lukewarm water no it's nothing you can't handle yeah no. so that thing is awesome it works so now of course if you grab this without this on you're going to sustain some serious burns and then you can rest this up against your gear it's not going to burn your gear i mean it's just, uh, it's good stuff. Like, right now, I bet it's, go ahead and hit it again. It's definitely hotter than it was. So it's going to heat up with time. We're up to 145 right now. So 145. But you can still hold it. Yeah, it's not even, and it's just warm. No, just warm. So, yeah, that's pretty, it does 
what it's supposed to do. Now these rail covers, man, these are very cool as well. You can uh, actually put a pressure plate behind these. Um, you can hide wires behind these. They're channeled uh, in order for you to do that. And these things feel really, really good. They're very soft. Feels like the exact same material that is around the, the can. Now this has gotten hotter. I guess this is probably around 160. Like it, it is warm now for sure. So see what you got. 161. 160. I'm good, man. You are I said good. 160. So yeah, I mean it's still not hot enough to where you're gonna burn yourself, which is good. I mean, considering the can's probably 370, 380 degrees. So pretty nice, guys. Um, we'll get a closer look at these. Maybe take some pictures for you guys. But Manta rail covers and the uh, Manta suppressor sleeve, they they work. It's very easy to install too. Oh yeah, yeah. Just, uh, it's basically, you get a little lube with this, you know, don't even start guys, but we, we've already covered it. Uh, you get a little <laughs> lube with this and it's basically hand sanitizer. You squirt it on there and work your way down uh, to where you're fully, you can cut this too to fit your can, um, it, whether it's a longer can or whatever, but once you get that on, it stays on. If you want to take it off, um, let me clear the gun here because I'm going to point it right at the camera at you guys you can see down in there you have some room where you could squirt a little more hand sanitizer and just get it working so you can pull it off so pretty cool i really do like the uh, rail covers quite a bit though i mean they're really soft i think we'll run these for a little while longer and see how they hold up and uh we'll let you guys know here in a future video how well this stuff holds up so that's pretty much it guys this is just a short video um, we'll talk more about the Manta products later. Thanks for watching, everybody.